Uh, hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Mofo Keng Lesohonolo. I am subject advisor for Maths Grade 8 and 9 from TMAT. I'm just going to present today to you uh, the exponents. So uh, let's go straight to the presentation. Right. Um, Right, I'm going to present today a uh, great nine learners, uh, the exponents. Right, uh, under the next exponent for great uh, eight, we, I mean for great nine, we are going to revise the exponents done in great uh, eight. Uh, and then from the, the, the loss of exponents done in grade eight. We have to extend the general loss of exponents to include the integer exponent. The integer exponent, uh, we are actually referring to the negative exponent because we have been dealing with the positive exponents uh, all along. But in grade nine, that's where we are, we are actually starting to introduce the integer exponents. Right, and then uh, this is the integer exponent that we are, I'm referring to. According to exp, uh, integer exponent, if we are having a to exponent of negative m, this will be the same as when you divide one by a to exponent of positive m. It was negative m, so it becomes something like inverse with positive exponents. But we are just going to actually, we are just going to actually uh, investigate that. So the lesson today is about investigating the negative exponent. Right, moving forward, uh, integer exponent. Let's have a look at this. We are having two to exponent of three, we divide it by two to exponent of five. Now we are just going to do what we are actually, what we actually know from grade eight, that when you divide or if you divide the numbers of the same base, you must subtract the exponents. That is one. And then secondly, we must re uh, recall again from grade seven that uh, we can also uh, simplify by expanding the exponents by writing them in expanded uh, notation. Right. So firstly, we are going to use loss of exponents to calculate uh, 2 to exponent 3 divided by 2 to exponent 5. And again, we will be using, uh, we will be simplifying 2 to exponent of 3 divided by 2 to exponent of 5 by expanding, by expanding. So let's go. Uh, according to the laws of exponents, according to the laws of exponents, uh, 2 to exponent of 3 uh, divided by 2 to exponent of 5. Uh, because the bases are the same, we will just subtract the exponents, therefore, uh, base will subtract the exponent of the second base. So three minus five. And three minus five will give us negative two. So in other words, after simplifying this using the laws of exponents that say you divide the same base, you subtract the exponent. And then ultimately two to exponent of three divided by two to exponent of five give us two to exponent of negative um, two. Right, now let's check when we uh, actually solve this or calculate this by expanding. Uh, we know that two to exponent of three can be divided using the fraction and two to exponent of three will be two multiplied by two multiplied by two. And then two to exponent of five s the denominator will be 
two multiply by two, multiply by two, multiply by two, and multiply by two. This is from grade seven. Right, if you look at this, you will realize that by mere, sim uh, by mere simplifying two divided by two is one, two divided by two is one, two divided by two is one. So this two threes that you are having as, as um, numerator will divide ones into uh, twos in the denominator. Or let me say uh, this two threes on the denominator will divide ones uh, on two that are on the numerator. So ultimately we are only left with uh, two times two. And we know that two times two will be a uh, two to exponent of two. So now let's check. We have actually solved two to exponent of three uh, divided by two to exponent of five using laws of exponent and we got the answer to two exponent of a negative two. And then again, we are having, uh, we, we, we have solved two to exponent of three divided by two to exponent of five by expanding and simplifying. And the answer that we got is one out of two squared. Now the question will be, what can you say about the two to exponent of negative two as well as a uh, one out of two to exponent of two? Right. Uh, the answer for this, if you use calculator, will give you one out of four. In other words, two to exponent of negative two will give you one out of four. And two out of two squared will give you one out of four. So hence, because we are dealing with investigation, now the issue will be, what can we say about uh, these two answers? Uh, the conclusion that we can draw out of this, the conclusion that we can draw out of this is that we have two to exponent of negative two. We also have one out of two to exponent of two. They both equals to a uh, one out of four. Both of them equals to one out of four, right? Now, uh, the conclusion that we can draw out of this is that the two to exponent of negative two is the same as one out of uh, two squared. I repeat, the conclusion after our investigation can say two to exponent of negative two is the same as one divided by two squared. So now what we need to do, we need to actually compare the two. We have two to exponent of negative two, and then on the right hand side of the equation, it is now one out of two squared. Uh, let's relate two to exponent of negative two with two to exponent of two. What has happened? What can we say about two to exponent of negative two and two to exponent of two? It simply says a uh, two to exponent of negative two. It can be written as an inverse of two to exponent of negative two with positive exponent. That negative two, uh, that negative two, it becomes positive. But remember, it must be in the form of the inverse. So that is the introduction to the negative exponent. I just want to repeat, two to exponent of negative two is the same as a uh, one out of a uh, two squared. Hence, I was saying we have to relate to say uh, what is happening about negative two as well as a uh, a uh, one out of two to two to exponent of two, right? So, uh, my grade nine learners, this marks the end of our lesson, and you are actually finished with the quiz. For the remaining five minutes, we can be able to deal with a uh, uh, the quiz, but while we are busy with the quiz. Uh, I, I just want to make uh, some comments uh, regarding the exponents. Uh, when I started, I said uh, the exponents, the exponents, we did them 
thoroughly in grade uh, eight, whereby we were talking about the whereby we were talking about the, the loss of uh, exponents. So under the loss of exponents, we have this law that states that uh, you you multiply the numbers of the same base, you must add the exponents. You divide the numbers of the same base, you subtract the exponents. The one that we have exercised when we were actually solving this end, uh, doing the investigation. And then we have this law that states that you raise a power to another power, you must multiply the exponents. So this is clear to say, there will be a situation whereby you have to add the exponents. There will be a situation whereby you have to subtract the exponents. And you have the situation whereby you have to multiply the exponents. It shouldn't be something that you, you must actually uh, uh, struggle to get. The key thing is you must know that whenever you multiply one, it must be the same base for you to add the exponents. When you divide, you must ensure that uh, the bases are the same, then you can uh, subtract the exponents. And if you raise a power to a power, then you multiply everything that is inside the brackets with the exponent that is outside the brackets. That's what I wanted uh, to actually say. I'm just going to send this in, in the group so that uh, we can be able to get the to get the to get the this end uh, please thank you very much i hope you get uh, you you will be good when it comes to solving the uh, exponents with negative uh, with negative uh, exponent or with negative integer thank you very much and our 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 class stands agent. Thank you very much.